everyone. Welcome back to the Rails Media Channel. It's your favorite boys. Yeah, that's the one and only loudest geo in the world. Woo! That was a nice one. Felt like a cowboy there for a second. Guys, we are on our way to New York. Our first, our first, our oh, nothing eats episode in New York. So um, it's definitely gonna be a uh, pretty good time. Pretty good time for sure. Uh, my boy's out. Uh, don't you love that? Oh, the bike guys are out today, guys. It's going to be a great day. It is a beautiful day. All right, so we have to look out over here for burnout track marks because apparently this is where they do it, the racing. <laughs> Lucas said to look for the for the burnout marks. <laughs> yeah, somewhere over here. I mean, I don't know how early you got on that IG Live. They were setting the road on fire. No, oh, right here. Literally right here. <laughs> Maybe here? Right here? <laughs> oh, I fucking love that. <laughs> Cops show up, they can choose to either like get on the skyway or just fucking dip that way. And dip the other way though. I guess not, but you still have a lot of options to run from cops. And the cops gotta make it through all that traffic. That's true. That's very true. Yeah, we wanted to go to that race last night. And, but the thing is, is that we were watching the, uh, we were watching a tennis match, like waiting for, you know, for, for us to go there. But then we were like, oh, well, fuck it. I don't think there's gonna be any races last night. And it's crazy. Cause like on the way home last night, I was like, you know, I'm gonna get home. And then, it's, and then we're gonna find out the race actually happened. Around one o'clock in the morning, literally, Lucas has someone he follows, I have someone I follow, and we both see them go on the fucking race. It was two Civics, it was fucking beautiful. Yeah, I just wish we were able to make it. But yeah, they, they just give really short notice. They go live like 30 minutes before the race is about to start. Yeah, which is understandable because for obviously, for, you know, we don't have to say the reasons, but we know why. But yeah, it's not, it's not legal street racing, obviously. It's obviously very fucking illegal, um, but that makes it fun, you know, like uh, we all love our 1320 videos. I wonder how much, tra how much time we're going to cut off <laughs> by being the fucking worst. I love being the worst, though. <laughs> a man got a maniacal laugh through lane splitting. I'm low-key the hero and the evil villain. <laughs> more traffic and then pissing all of them off by cutting them off. They're the sound of my people! pull over after. Guys, we're in New York. The Big Apple. Where they only eat apples. Am I right? Sure. That was, that was a bad fucking joke. It was. I'm not going to forgive you for it. What? what would you do if I flicked your bike off? I, I'd be like, Lucas, you're the fucking worst. Yes, sir. Just... <laughs> Test line. Perfect. Perfect. Cocktail, like basically candy in a in a soda form. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Here we go. 
lot of dessert here, and we're gonna have a good time. Oh, absolutely. Some chocolate mousse cake. Whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, yeah what is the cheesecake? Yeah, that, that's rocket. And whatever this is, I think it said like a wafer. Yeah, it's like a hazelnut wafer. That's good. It's a nice bike. Yeah, we love your bike. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna put it across the street. <laughs> Thank nice. God we didn't get a ticket, it's just all standing. Yeah, right? <laughs> Nothing is beautiful. So, this is going to be an interesting ride back, guys, because guess what? Lucas. Lucas doesn't have his cardo working today. <laughs> Guys, my cardo doesn't work. It's a sad ride. I can't talk to Geo. I can't listen to music. But we're still gonna have fun. That's what matters, right? As long as we're on our bikes. It's gonna be more fun when we, we get out of this hectic New York traffic. It's a little tough to lane split on some of these streets because they're a little narrow. At least the lanes are narrow, you know? At the end of the day, it's all about the fun we're having, right? And I just got to make sure I'm not the worst today, so I don't lose Lucas. But yeah, we're riding through the city. Dinner was fucking amazing, as you guys had saw. So fucking tasty. Our waiter was a great guy. You also got to drive here with some oomph. People here are really aggressive drivers, so you cannot be scared around here. Oh, these people on these scooters and stuff and like mopeds around New York are absolutely crazy. They'll drive the wrong way up the street, lane splitting. You know what that ad also reminds me of? If you guys ever watched him, if you guys ever watched the Matrix, Mr. Smith, that's what that reminded me of. I don't know. I'm just in my own world right now. What, what if I just lose him on purpose? Wouldn't that make things a little bit more fun? No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. But sometimes having fun it also includes being the fucking worst yes do you know where we're supposed to go yeah and make a left down a uh, house and we'll be on home tunnel see you do know where to go i was just telling the viewers that uh what if i just lose lucas and i was like because lucas has to learn his way around the city yeah, I mean, you know, we, we got friends in the city. I'm here a decent amount <laughs> for work. My territory is New York City, you know. I got to know my way around. I definitely got to get a little more familiar. It's nice being in the city, though, because, like, years ago, during COVID, it was, like, a sad sight to see. Especially if you're from around here. It was so empty. Now it feels like the nightlife is back, you know. Everybody's walking around. It's a vibrant in the city again. The downside to that is what you're seeing right now, which is loads and loads of traffic. But you know what they say, country girls make do, so we're gonna have fun either way. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Tunnel, which is it's great sometimes. And by that, I mean, I'm lying. This place fucking sucks. Is there a guy behind me? Yeah, there is a guy behind me. On the scooter doing deliveries? <laughs> love that for you, my boy. Love that. <laughs> I love that for you, my boy. I love that for you, my boy. Let's go! Ah, uh, Geo stalled. Loser. Thought I wouldn't catch that. Can't. I'm not even on the cardo to make fun of him. That's the worst part. Out of 
the tunnel. Thank God. Now it's nice and at least much cooler than it was in there. driving through this tunnel obviously because of tunnel reasons so you hear that nice exhaust echo it's amazing i love the tunnels they're so fun it's been such a good day and i hope you guys have been enjoying the stuff that we've been putting on the channel we've been having a lot of fun making it for you guys and there's so much more to come. So much more. It's like, as um, I never even really wanted to get into motorcycling, um, but you know, I've always thought they were cool. And like, I'm, I'm always down to do anything wild um, just for the experience. And um, you know, I think adding motorcycles to my uh, arsenal of fun things to do is, <laughs> was such a great decision. I think it just mainly comes to, uh, I don't know, I'm still more of a car guy, but I mean, it's just a different feeling you gotta admit when you're on a motorcycle. Sometimes I wish my bike had cruise control. It would be nice to just not have to be holding the throttle all the time. But I guess that'll come with a newer bike. I'm glad that this was the first bike that I bought, because you know, I feel like it's really allowing me to grow into it while also being insanely fun to ride. For those who don't know, this is an 03 Kawasaki 636. Very popular among stunters for having a great engine for that. A great balanced bike. But I don't really plan on stunting it too much. Or at all, really. I just want to learn a few things. Just, you know, the classic wheelies, stoppies, some knee knockers. Something just to have fun, you know? I'll probably put a cage on this just in case while I'm practicing, make sure nothing gets messed up. Otherwise, if this doesn't get turned into a stunt bike, it'll probably be turned into a track bike eventually once I have something else to ride on a day to day. This could become more of a project. So I don't really plan on getting rid of this thing. I, I'm a big sentimental guy, you know? So this is my first bike, my first baby. It's gonna be hard for me to let her go, so I might as well just make other plans for her. Lucas! Guys, Lucas is back. One and only. We hope you enjoyed today's video. It's been fucking amazing bringing you guys along as always. We fucking love you guys here so much. Thank you for watching and as always, make sure you stay aroused because we are. What a day, so much riding today. It was great.